The Arduino Nano has a built-in 10-bit ATD converter to enable the acquisition of analog inputs. The Nano on the other hand does not have a built-in D2A converter. This video presents the interfacing of MCP4725 with the Nano, which is a single-channel 12-bit D2A converter. The MCP4725 is connected to the Nano using I2C interfacing, where the serial data line is connected to analog line A4 and the serial clock is connected to A5. The output of the DTA converter is connected to an LED. This is the code used to test the MCP4725. Here we have the header files, one for the I2C communication and the other from Adafruit to communicate with the MCP4725. Within the setup, we initialize the address of the device, which in this case is hexadecimal 60. Within the loop function, a for loop is used to scan through the 12-bit resolution of the DAC. In other words, from 0 to 4095. This statement sends the value of integer i to the DAC, which in turn outputs the equivalent voltage value, which is between 0 and 5 volt DC. After running the code, the output voltage increases linearly from 0 to 5 volt DC. One useful application of the DAC would be to generate different type of waveforms, such as a triangular waveform and a sinusoidal waveform. In a future video, the MCP4725 will be used to construct a microcontroller-based function generator, outputting different types of periodic waveforms.